Unless you've been living under a rock, you've certainly heard all the buzz about artificial intelligence and machine learning, applying it things like self-driving cars, robots, and cities of the future. But if you're just getting started in the field trying to understand exactly what it is, those examples might be a little bit too big to wrap your head around. So in the next few minutes, I'm going to explain in plain English exactly what machine learning is. First, some terms and distinctions. Artificial intelligence, or AI, has actually been around for a long time, since the 1950s. It's sort of an overarching term that means we're enabling computers to mimic human behavior, something like a computer playing chess against a human. Machine learning is a subset of AI. Here, algorithms learn and improve performance over time using data. You pass a bunch of data in about what credit card fraud looks like, for instance. The computer learns that and then can predict if a new incoming transaction might be fraudulent. Deep learning is a subset of ML, and here we're talking about neural networks, which you can kind of think of as an artificial representation of how the human brain works. Deep learning is used for things like speech recognition, computer vision, recommendation engines, and more. The rest of this video will focus on machine learning. We said that in machine learning, algorithms learn and improve performance over time using data. But what in the world does that mean? What does it mean to learn using data? How could a computer learn? Well, very much the same way that humans learn. Growing up, I was always around animals. And at some point, I don't know how old I was, but I learned that an animal that looks like this is a dog. And so in the back of my brain, I filed this away as a dog. And then I'd see another kind of dog, maybe a different color or size. Somebody told me that's a dog, and so again, it reinforced that part of my brain that said, this is a dog. Check. And on it went a gray dog. It had similar characteristics as the other dogs. And so I categorized that as a dog as well. And then one day, an animal comes along that is definitely not a dog. When I saw this animal, I compared it to my prior knowledge about dogs, their characteristics, the size, and so on. And so I could conclude that this is not a dog. A similar thing happened when I started learning how to read. I learned the alphabet, lowercase, uppercase. I learned how to recognize the letters, how to write them, how they sounded, and eventually how to put them together to mean something. I saw that when I combined letters in this way, J-A-M-E-S, I learned that was how my brother spelled his name. Check. And a pattern like this, 555-1212, was my phone number. Check. And if a pattern of numbers was different, then that wasn't my phone number. Now, I know those are super simple examples, but the takeaway is that when we say a machine is learning from data, it's really identifying patterns, just like I was identifying patterns, learning about animals and letters and reading and so forth. For instance, what are the patterns here? All of these dogs have similar characteristics of two floppy ears, paws, eyes on the front of their head, fur, and so on. And if you show a computer enough pictures of dogs like these, and you label them as dogs as you input them, it'll eventually learn, quote unquote, what a dog looks like based on the patterns in the data, based on where the pixels show up on the picture. So back to our definition of machine learning, it all starts with the training data, whether that's dog pictures or text or video or speech, whatever it is. We pass that into an algorithm, which identifies the patterns in that data. And at the end of the process, we'll have a trained model that can then make predictions for new data that we pass in. That's a little bit abstract, so let's look at an example. We'll use handwriting recognition. In this case, our training data is going to be a bunch of handwritten digits passed in as images. Those images get passed to an algorithm that's going to try to identify patterns. To do this, it'll look at each pixel of the image and try to pick out shapes. Like a zero is a circle, a one is a line, an eight is two circles, and so on. And it's going to iterate on those images until we have a fully trained model that quote unquote knows what a one looks like, it knows what a two looks like, and so on. But you might be asking, well, how exactly does that help me solve real world problems? Just having a model that's trained on an existing data set. And you're right to ask that. The real magic and the real value of the trained model comes into play when it can recognize new things that you pass to it. For instance, a banking application that needs to read the dollar amounts that somebody hand wrote on a check. The check image can be passed to the model, and the model can say, aha, this check is for $235 or whatever it is. Or a shipping application that has handwritten addresses and it needs to extract zip codes or address numbers. 
This end piece here is a prediction that the model makes, sometimes referred to as an inference. We're saying, based on all of this quote-unquote knowledge that the model has about numbers that we trained it with, we're able to predict that this zip code is 98574, or whatever it is. Maybe I have an e-commerce application and I need to detect fraud during a purchase transaction. So feed in the data about what fraud looks like, train the model on that data, and then we'll be able to say, oh, this transaction looks a little bit fishy. There's a 93% chance that this is a fraudulent transaction. And then we can take appropriate action. Now, I mentioned a few percentages a second ago, and that's really what you're going to get with that prediction, is a probability between 0 and 1, where 0 means impossible, and 1, or 100% means certain, and the middle is an equal chance, or 50%. You'll call the trained model, pass in some data, and the prediction is going to be somewhere on this line. All right, so if I had to summarize all of the points we just covered into a more complete definition, we can say that machine learning identifies patterns in existing data to make predictions about new data. And that's really machine learning in a nutshell. Hopefully that makes a little bit more sense now. Let me know in the comments if it does. If you're interested in doing some hands-on machine learning in Amazon Web Services specifically, check out my AWS playlist for the SageMaker videos. Thanks so much for watching.